What's going on guys, welcome back. In today's video we're going to talk about the Python main function. And now you might be a little bit confused because why do we need a main function in Python? In Python I can just go ahead and write some statements, so print hello world for example. I don't need to have the classical main function of def main and then a string with the arguments and then arc C or something like we know it from C or Java or C sharp or C++, whatever. I don't need a classical main function in Python to be able to run the code. I don't need that entry point. So why are we even talking about the main function in Python? Now, chances are that you have seen something like that. If underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals and then underscore underscore main underscore underscore. Now, this is not really a function, but as you can see, PyCharm already notices that this is special and provides this run button here. So what is the function of this line of code? Why do we need it? Why is it used so often? Why is it considered best practice? In order to explain that, let me create another file here and we're going to call this mylibrary.py. And in here, we're going to just define some basic functions. So we're going to define an add function uh, which returns x plus y. We're going to define a sub function, which returns x and y, or actually x minus y. And we're going to define a hello function, which is going to do nothing special. It's just going to print hello world like that. Now, if I want to use these functions, of course, I need to import the library into the main file. So what I can do is I can just say import my library since they're in the same directory and it's going to be able to do that. And now if I want to call the functions, I just say my library dot hello or print my library dot at and then 80 and 90, for example. Now, the question is, or first of all, let me show you that this works. There you go. The question is, how does this actually work? How does Python do that? Um, and Python, what Python does is it basically takes all of that and executes all the lines of code before we get to these lines of code. So an import statement is not just picking the functions and saying, okay, now you can use these functions from that file. No, it executes the whole Python script and then it starts executing the other lines of code. So basically this means that if I now have a line down here, which is not a function, it's just a print statement and I print test down here. You're going to see that by just importing this library, it's going to execute the code right away. There you go, you can see test is being, uh, being put out onto the screen. And this can be a problem because maybe I wanna have some lines of code here, but I only wanna execute them if I run this script directly and I don't want them to be executed when I, uh, when I just import the library. And in order to see the difference here between uh, the context, let's just go ahead and print the name variable that we talked about before. So we're just going to print name here and we're not gonna make the condition here, we're just gonna print the value. And now let's go ahead and run main.py. As you can see, we get my library as a result here because we import it and then it runs this line of code. And in this case, the name is my library. However, if I now go ahead and run my library directly, you're going to see that the name changes to main. And this is what this condition is for. If I now go ahead and write if underscore underscore name equals and then underscore underscore main underscore underscore. This code in here is go only going to be executed if I run this module directly. So if I say test here and I now run main.py, you're going to see that nothing is being executed. Of course, I can still use the functions here, but this code is only being executed if I run my library.py directly. There you go, as you can see. So this is basically the reason why we use the main section in Python. Now, in addition to that, of course, it's more readable. If we have some code here, for example, we test uh, the functions or let's just call hello, let's just call print add 10 and 20, and then maybe the same with sup. Let's say I just wanna test these functions. Then of course, when I run the library, they're going to be tested. But if I just wanna use the library, they're not gonna be executed here. So this is quite useful. And um, in addition to that, what people often like to do or programmers often like to do is they like to define a main function, an actual main function with these statements. And then 
there you go, then call the main function in that section. So what is the value of that? Why should we be doing that? Why should we not just take all these statements and put them down here? And the reason for that is because this is more prone to error if we don't do it that way. So if we don't use a main function, we can run into some errors uh, regarding global variables. So let's say we don't have this main function here. Let's copy these statements again and put them down here. Let's just get rid of that. Come on. There you go. And we need to remove that as well. So now if I define a variable down here that we call my value, for example, and I set it to 10, and then for some reason, because I'm confused and I have 50 lines of code in that function, I think that my value is defined in hello and hello knows what my value is. So if I now go ahead and say print my value, I'm not going to get any errors here. I'm not going to get any mistakes. I don't see that I have a problem because my value is actually defined as a global variable. And this can happen across files as well. Now, if I run this, of course, I'm going to run into an error or actually, yeah, I'm going to run into an error even if I run the main file. Um, because we don't know what my value is. And if I run my library, you're going to see that my value is not defined. But I don't see that right away because my value is defined here in the global scope. However, if I put this into a main function, def main, and I copy all of this here. Come on, copy. There you go. And I run the main function now you can see right away that my value is not being recognized in the hello function. Because of course, it is defined locally inside of the main function. And this prevents a lot of confusion and stupid errors happening. So this is why we use the main function in Python. By the way, of course, we can also change this to some lip if we want to. And then we're going to have the opposite effect. So now if I, uh, if I run, let me just see if I fixed the error, I didn't there you go. If I run my library.py, it's not going to be executed by but if I import it, it's going to be executed or actually not some lips. Sorry, I called this my library. This is why it didn't work. If I now run my library.py directly, we're not going to get any results. If I run the main file, it's going to trigger the if statement here and we're going to see the results here. So this is how we use the main function in Python. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.